Hey guys, it's Mike here with Grow Indoors 365, giving you a nice new update into the new year. Today is January 11th, just showing you a little bit of the old forest right here. Just ate a bunch of lettuce. My wife and I had a delicious little uh, salad and uh, just making a ton of uh, uh, basil, you know, tomato and mozzarella, utilizing some of this basil. In the last video, if you guys remember, the basil was pretty small. Now, in this stage, I you know, I think I could still do the transplant and, and clone it, but the stem is so thick. Just look how thick that is. I mean, this thing is literally growing into a tree. And it's incredible. It's like every single time I chop down from the top, it just gets bigger and just more shoots keep coming out. I, I almost want to like keep having it like seeing how far I could keep it to regenerate and how long I could keep it alive for. It's incredible. Had a little leaf died out. Look at this little guy. Um, everything's looking super good in here though. Um, in a little bit I am going to post up a video in regards to some of the seeds that I think will be best and beneficial for people that are just starting out. Some of the seeds, I will do all the research for you guys so this makes it easy for you but uh, you know primarily for indoor growing I suggest anything that doesn't really require pollination. Now I spoke to another YouTuber recently regarding pepper and tomato pollination. If you guys have tuned into my channel a while ago, months, many, many months ago, I tried growing cucumbers. This entire level down below here was one huge, I, I took one tub, a hydroponic tub, and I had about maybe uh, either six or seven cucumber plants. And I mean, the thing literally took over the entire bottom area. Some of them started coming out, like little jurgens came out, but honestly, they never fully germinated because I couldn't pollinate them properly. Now I did tell you guys I was going to show you the clone thing. Uh, wait, I'm getting I'm getting off track. Number one, the cucumbers and uh, the seeds. Okay, now I remember where I am. So I will be making a video of some of the seeds that I think are best for indoor growers and um, just check that out. If you want to buy some seeds, cool, do it. Make sure you do it. Uh, everything that I use and you need to use is down below. All the links are right down below for everything that you are re you know, we'll need to get this type of setup. Everything that you need. There's actually some stuff that I'm that I'm missing, and I'm gonna do a, a video on a good price, like for example, a heat mat for seed germination, and I'll go into it too. I have a few videos that are gonna be going up. I have this one tonight on the 11th, and tomorrow I am going to be introducing the new LED light in the new tent, and what I'm gonna be doing in there, and how I'm gonna be doing it, and. It's a very cool, innovative new light with some crazy new capacities and like, oh my god, I mean the LED glows so hard <laughs> that I, I'm literally, you know, when you guys use an LED light like this that has a full spectrum, and if you don't know what I mean when it's just a full spectrum, like for example, when you look at this light here, okay, it is a plain uh, soft white light bulb at a certain loom, certain wattage and so forth. When you talk about full spectrum, because you guys got to realize the sun, when you have things that are planted outside in the dirt and the sun is providing its own, you know, natural light, it has a specific spectrum of light. And we're talking about, I believe there's red, blue, um, red, blue, yellow, that might be it, <laughs> and green. Uh, that might be it. There might be more. Don't. I mean, I, I'm not 100% on it, but um, they created the LED lights to provide those specific lights to be able to mimic the sun. Okay? So when, when they're mimicking the sun, uh, you know, it's supposed to really allow for better quality um, foliage or, you know, basically vegetation and just everything's supposed to be a lot better but we'll see but honestly I turn on the light just to like play with it just to check it out for a second my eyes hurt for a second because I think you really need for like certain UV I mean I think you need like special glasses so it doesn't harm your eyes because as soon as I started like playing with it and messing with it it, it really did hurt my eyes it was, it was crazy and I was like whoa I was like this thing seems super powerful but it's so little really interesting and 
you know, obviously it's 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 gonna go really, really well in that other tent that I got. Now this is a huge tent and it's for, you know, maybe a, a little more of advanced grower, okay? But the other tent and um, the light, it's gonna be perfect for you guys that are just starting out that are also working in a smaller space. Can you guys look how beautiful this is, by the way? Let me do a super close up. Is that unbelievable? Look at those colors. Look at the transparency on this. Look at the back. Look at the stem. I mean, this lettuce is absolutely beautiful. And just so you guys know, I only feed these guys like one time. So as soon as these things start going, you know, like two weeks in, as soon as I have like decent growth, I only feed them maybe like twice. Like literally lifetime of these, I fed them like twice. And that's between like two different types of nutrient compounds. That's like the grow and um, I forgot what the other one is. It's been a long day at work. But I, this is, it, it grows so well and I really love this lettuce. It almost like in the beginning, it comes off like really buttery and I mean it's still nice and buttery, but it, it gets a little more firmer. If you like a, like a firmer type of lettuce, at this stage, it's like 45 days, right around the time that's, that's good to pick it. Um, it's actually a really, really nice feel to it. But again, just coming back to this thing, look at this thing. This is unbelievable. I mean, you, I mean, it's crazy. Basil's pretty cheap at the supermarket, but again, I don't know what they've done to it. I don't know how long it's been sitting there for. I don't know any of that information. You know what? I just realized this top piece right here, these little guys, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to start the, um, the cloning process um, with these guys right here. They are perfect because the stems are actually, let me get, the stems are not as thick. They're actually pretty small. And um, I just really wanted to find the time to do it. It's going to be a series. Uh, I'm going to post a couple times in regard, uh, you know, re regarding how I'm going about cloning from one plant and making multiple plants. Wow. Oh, God, I love basil. If you guys love basil, give me the thumbs up. I want to remind you one more time, everything that I use and you need to use is at the bottom, okay? Show more detail, all the links are at the bottom. Everything that you need from the tubs to the, uh, the pump that I use to the storage to the containers to everything. Uh, hope you guys are having a good week. I mean, uh, tomorrow's Friday, thank God. I love the weekend, I hope you do too. It's actually going to give me some uh, good time to really be able to kind of clean this up, uh, order some seeds, and uh, figure out what I want to do down here. I mean, I got all this room. I mean, none of these two lights are not growing right now, but uh, I have to get something down there. I really want to uh, utilize everything possible. And uh, I actually want to figure out also, like maybe there's like a, a pet store that'll take some of my older lettuce, you know? In the, in the next, if I don't eat majority of this, which I will definitely get to at least all of this, now, I don't know about all this, um, and I, I mean, <laughs> so much basil, I mean, when you think about it, I'm like, oh, you know what, I want some delicious tomato, mozzarella, and basil, nice little um, sprinkle on there with the, uh, I forgot what it is, that like balsamic vinaigrette that we put on top of there, but I mean, like, how much basil can you eat? This is crazy, and also, it's so, it's so weird, as soon as I break the stem, it's so interesting, like, the life capacity of plants. Like, I, I'm still trying to understand and trying to figure it out. If I was, these are firm right now, okay? They're nice, bouncy, they feel good. If I was to break the stem right now, and this stem is no longer feeding from the bottom of the entire stem down to the, uh, down to the bottom to the root system, it literally starts to die out within, like, minutes or whatever. Now, I realize that there's a lot of particles in the air of everywhere. It's like you ever take an apple, okay? You ever take an apple and you cut it, and then within just a minute, two minutes, three minutes, there starts to get brown all over. You ever wonder why that is? It's like the oxygen and the particles and the, the, the things that are all throughout around us that we're breathing constantly, it kind of attacks these things and just takes the life out of them. It's so weird. I, I still don't understand. I would, if someone could explain it to me down in the comment section, if you actually know what you're talking about, please let me know why that is. But it's a shame because, you know, some people are like, oh, you should, um, you should freeze them and then dry them and blah, blah, blah. You know what? I'm not into all that. I'm, I, I don't freeze food, period. 
okay? Um, any type of food. I, if I'm going to eat, I usually go to the supermarket, buy for that day, cook, and then do it over again the following day. But that's how I do it. But it's so weird. Like, I mean, like, I, what I was mentioning, I, it's just so much basil. And this is one seed. This is one plant. Look at this stem. This is one plant. Actually, let's rip this off right here so that the actual stems can focus on more of the up top. That's how you got to do it. A lot of times you want to cut the stuff down below. Um, even like these little scragglies. Even though basil will grow from right here. I mean, like if we could get a... Let me see if I can get a, uh, a close-up on that. You see that right there inside? That's going to be a little basil leaf. That's going to be growing. Okay? Basil is a beautiful plant. And I mean, it smells incredible. It's good for indigestion. And you can do so much with it. It's absolutely gorgeous. Let's see what else we got. Look at that purple basil I got back here. I haven't even touched this purple basil. <laughs> the, the lettuce just starts to take over. I mean, it's crazy. But the purple let you know, I do this just to uh, just to see it grow. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, but you know what? I, when I tried the purple basil, it wasn't as delicious as the green basil. I don't know why. This is the Genovese basil, and I really love it. I've tried some hybrids; they're okay, but that purple one's just like whatever. Um, but I like all this other stuff. But tonight we had some like lettuce wraps. We also had a salad, and uh, using these huge leaves right here was absolutely perfect for beautiful lettuce wraps and a small side salad. Anyway, I'm done blabbing. I'm going to post this video up and I expect another video tomorrow, an in-depth elaborative review on this LED light that I got for the new tent. I hope you're all doing well again. I hope you're all growing inside. Hey guys, down below also, I'm including the Facebook uh, fan page. Go ahead and click that link. And uh, I got, I, you know, I want to continue growing that community, and uh, I want to see some pictures of you guys, of you guys growing. I mean, uh, these videos are meant for learning purposes as well as to establish good relationships across the world of individuals that are trying to grow their own food, sustain their own well-being. Okay, so I want to see these type of pictures posted, like this picture right here, absolutely beautiful. I will post this on my Facebook page. Okay, super high resolution detailed large images will always be posted on the Facebook page please do that and again make sure to like if you're new here subscribe and hit the links down below for everything that you need to have a grow tent like mine hey guys thank you so much talk to you guys soon